Hey everybody, I am back again and I'm doing another empties video because you guys love those so much. I hear about it on Instagram, I hear about it on my Facebook. Life is good, glad you're liking this. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Because I have a lot of stuff. First of all, I'm gonna do a video on this. I know, I say I'm gonna do a video on stuff all the time. <laughs> But this one I am definitely going to do a video on and it's not going to be a review. It's going to be something else So do stay tuned. I can tell you right now that this is about my eighth bottle of this I don't use it all the time. This is the Crest Glamorous white alcohol free mouthwash um, I don't use it all the time because it can eventually harm your teeth if you're using it like every single day for weeks on end. And I'm gonna go over that in that video that I talk about. Stay tuned, but I definitely recommend it. Here's another one. This is the second round of uh, Amica products that I have purchased from Sephora. This is the Bust Your Brass Conditioner, and it does come out, oh, you can't tell. It comes out blue, just like the Bust Your Brass Shampoo, which I also have. Um, I love this stuff. I find that it works absolutely incredibly for getting rid of the brass in my hair in one shot, maybe two shots at the most, but it works really, really well. It doesn't dry my hair out or make it frizzy and it has a nice scent that isn't overpowering. Haha, -ha, isn't that awesome? Here are two products from Tiber. Tiber River, Christmas edition, can you tell? Uh, these are from Tiber River. Now, this one here is a sugar scrub. And of course, you can't even tell it's a sugar scrub. There you go. It's a sugar scrub right over here. And this one here, <laughs> right down here, this is a shave cream. These are two products that I love and have also repurchased a few times. The Tiber River Body Sugar Scrub, this uh, scent is called Tropic Like It's Hot, like drop it like it's hot, ha ah. ha And I don't know if they still come up with this scent. This might be one of their main lines, but this is the best sugar scrub I've ever used. This sugar scrub will moisturize, it exfoliates, the grains of sugar in here are not large. They're not gonna cut you, your skin or wreck your legs or anything like that or scratch you. It's incredible and it leaves my skin soft for days. I love it. It's the best. It's a Canadian made product made in Manitoba in Canada. I'll have a link below for that. Do check it out. This hot damn, she's got great gams. <laughs> I love the names of these. This um, shave cream, I'm not really thrilled with. I'm hoping that they improve the formula because I did find that it clogged up my razor. I rinsed the razor after using it, but it still seemed to leave a film behind on my legs. I love Tiber River, don't get me wrong, but this product, it's the second time I've tried it. I don't think I'm gonna be trying it again. Let's move on to my ride or die face products. Pretty sure that's all I got in here. I know I go on about this, okay? But I truly do believe in this. This is Willing Beauty. Uh, Willing Beauty has a skin regimen that is to die for. Now, I'll leave a link below of where you can find Willing Beauty. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I do sell it, yes. It's available in Canada. It's available in the US. The link I'm gonna put below is the link for the Canadian people. Um, I'll put a link below for Americans as well. However, let's move forward with the review. The cleanser, the Do Over Nourishing Cleanser. I love this stuff. It's kind of like a cream gel cleanser. And I know a lot of people don't like cream cleansers. I don't like cream cleansers either. I can't stand them. But this one here, I love. It takes off all my makeup in one shot. It doesn't leave a film on my skin and it rinses clean. I am absolutely mind blown by how good the Do Over Nourishing Cleanser is. And there's no scent. Love it. Plus it's one of the cleanest products out there. And I don't say that lightly because not every product, not most products that say they're clean aren't. Actually, I don't know any products that are completely clean, but Willing Beauty is really, really clean. I'll leave a link below. The other product that I have here is the Daydream uh, Illuminating Day Moisturizer. 
illuminating not so sure because it doesn't have any sort of illuminating properties that leave like a highlight look or anything like that but I can tell you that when I use this my skin definitely feels softer it's an excellent moisturizer excellent for sensitive skin so is the cleanser um, excellent for just about every skin type out there I have people who have acne that use this what yes they do and people who have really really dry skin who also use it and nobody has complained about it yet thank you God actually I will say I don't recommend this if you're going through chemo I do have a friend who's going through chemo who was using it and it really made her face red that's just chemo Here's a really amazing one. It's all gone. Uh, <laughs> this is the Willing Beauty Sleepover Replenishing Night Cream. This is what got rid of all the bumps underneath my chin. This product is like little miracle worker. Uh, this is a night cream. It also goes with the night serum. And but used even alone, it took the bumps off my chin. Every single time that I get those, I use that and it goes away. And I say that because I don't always use my night products. I'm guilty of that. But when I do, clear, smooth skin, wonderful. Love it. Like I said, I'll leave the link below. This product, Vichy Idelia Peeling, Radiance Activating Night Peeling Care, if it's still available, I'm going to leave a link below. Because while I do use my Willing Beauty all the time, this is a really really good product for it's an overnight peel the next morning your skin will feel really really good I liked it it does smell like a glass of red wine <laughs> probably because it's got a lot of grape juice in it like grapes grape product in it uh, but I'll leave a link below if it's still available it's an excellent excellent product this one is kind of like a local product uh, Bowen Island Candle Company from Vancouver and this, oh shoot and toot, this product here was sent to me by a friend and I got such a kick out of it because it's called I'll Be Back in a Hot Flash. Smells like exhaustion, brain fog, and looking for your glasses while they're on your head. Guilty. <laughs> this is an excellent little candle. It does burn for a really long time. 40 to 50 hours. Way to go, Bowen Island Candle Company. Loving that. And it's a soy wax candle. And I'm going to leave a link below for that if it's available. I'm pretty sure that company is still in business. It's so, so nice. Really, really enjoyed that. It smelled kind of like um, mint and eucalyptus and it was just very relaxing and I don't know I felt like it was trying to be a cooling product you know what I mean <laughs> anyway I loved it this is my ride or die hair product you know why my hair is so shiny right now and so nice looking it's because of this and I don't know that they're going to continue to carry this I'm gonna put a link below if you can get it get it okay this is the pharmacy keratin spray and honestly I just go like three shots one here one here one in the back and I can get my comb through my hair perfectly and my hair feels light and airy and it doesn't feel like heavy or weighted down or anything this stuff is incredible and I'm so sad that they're looking at not carrying it anymore so if you really really want something that's going to help your dry hair just click on the link if you're in Canada and purchase this. I am telling you right now, you will not be sorry. And you can email me or send me a message to tell me how grateful you are that I gave you that link because I am honest about this. It's incredible. This was kind of interesting. This is the Bare Minerals Prime Time Original Primer. White products don't show up. In natural light good to know um, it was okay it wasn't all that incredible uh, did it blur out yeah it did but and it filled the pores around my nose but it didn't really help my makeup to stay on as well as its predecessor which I can't remember what it was called um, but I like the one they had before the prime time I really do smells so beautiful this is Gucci guilty it is a mess look at the fingerprints all over the place woohoo it is just so so beautiful 
Oh my gosh, I love this. And I'm not a perfume reviewer, but it's empty. It's gone. I'm done with it. So I loved it. I really did. Uh, it lasted a long time. Kind of smelled like a cross between candy and floral. I don't know how else to tell you. <laughs> this is such a good deodorant. Degree Clinical Protection. I know it's really expensive. You can get this at Walmart, link below, but it's worth it, okay? If you're having a problem with the current deodorant that you're using, you know, it's just not working anymore. Sometimes we need to switch off for something for maybe a week and then go back to the old stuff. This is what I switch off to for about a week when my old deodorant, which is always my ride or die, Avon, uh, when, it start, when it's not working as well as it used to, I switch off to this for about a week and then I go back and everything's fine for another couple months. I don't know why, it just works that way. CMYK, the one and only mascara. Everyone's talking about this, okay? Yes, once again, <laughs> I'll put a link down below and uh, I do sell this as well. Yes, I have to be honest about that. I mean, I don't necessarily have to be honest about it, but I like to be honest about it. So this mascara is incredible and it is going to lengthen. It has blue light blocking technology. I did a review on this. Uh, you could probably find it down below, but the brush is really, really nice. As you can see, the mascara doesn't dry out. It's good for three months. It's wonderful. It lengthens, it separates. I didn't have any clumping problems and it didn't flake off. What? I really, really enjoyed it. Link below. Anything, anything that I think is really, really good, I will link below. If I don't think it's that great, I won't have it linked below. Okay, everybody goes on about this, so I thought, okay, might as well try it, and I tried it, and I love it. This is the CC, uh, pardon me, the It Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better, CC Color Correcting, Full Coverage Cream and Anti-Aging and hydrating serum. Holy Hannah, long name or what, eh? Anyway, this is the best. This is such a good, good foundation. This is such a good, good CC cream. Seriously amazing stuff. I felt that it was very light on my face, definitely has full coverage, definitely hydrating. I love this stuff. The only thing I had a problem with was that it seemed to go bad faster than most other foundations. That's the only problem I have. Other than that, I mean, if you're gonna use it in three months, go for it. It's incredible, incredible, really, really good coverage. It didn't, uh, I didn't find like I had any seams halfway through the day. You know how sometimes that happens with aging skin? No problems at all. Really, really good foundation. And oh, another one of these. Honestly, this is probably like my sixth or seventh one in my life. I go back to this um, concealer all the time. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love it. I think my color is vanilla. It's just incredible. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. It's just so good for aging skin. I find it's very moisturizing, hydrating, doesn't dry out and crack or anything like that. I have never had that problem. It's really good. And there's no scent. Okay, three more things. Don't like it, don't understand. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. Don't understand why people like this. I find it clumpy. I hate the friggin' brush. I thought I'd love it, but I found it very clumpy and it was all over the place. I don't care for it. I'm surprised because I love L'Oreal mascaras. I love their super, what's it called? L'Oreal Super Something. Do you remember what it's called? Put put it down in the link below if you remember, please. L'Oreal Super... Super what? I don't know. Help! <laughs> anyway, I love that. I love their regular voluminous. Don't care for Lash Paradise at all. Here is Lise Watchie's Double Definition Automatic Brow Liner. I like this. I really like this. Here's one of the things I love about it the brush on the end. The brush on the end is small. It is really good for brushing out the color, brushing through the color, and it's smaller than a lot of the um, eyebrow brushes out there. I find the larger ones I tend to get all over the place. This one, I love it. In fact, I have had this for so long because I've been using the brush. Um, the liner 
gone. I used it all. The brow pencil on the other side, I did find it kind of dried out a little bit fast. Wasn't very happy about that, but I certainly loved the brush on this end. Another brow product, I'm using so much more of them since I hit my 50s, uh, is this one here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is my second one. Um, I do really, really like this because you can't tell because I used it all, but the pencil is very small and it's really good for defining. The only thing I can't stand about this is the huge pencil. You think, oh man, I'm getting a lot of product. You hardly get anything in this. I think I got like this much pencil. It was just ridiculous. I was like, what? I paid all that for that? There's hardly anything in here. So because of that, I don't recommend it. Um, I mean, it's really good for defining. The pencil on the other side, as you can see, is a lot longer than the Lee's Watchy one, but I mean, yeah, I just, I still don't, I really like the pencil, but there's not enough product in there to, you know, make up for the price. And that's it. Merry Ho Ho. <laughs> so pretty good for little mini reviews we got going on there. Uh, I will be having another video up about this. It's going to be featured. No, nothing is sponsored that I do. I'm not that popular, let's be honest. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you have a fantastic Christmas, and we will talk to you soon.